The University of Bristol researchers have uncovered the reason behind zebra fur being thinly stripped and clearly defined. Their findings, published in the Journal of Experimental Biology, reveal that the strong black-white contrast and small dark patches in the zebra fur are particularly effective in deterring horsefly attacks. These specific characteristics eliminate the outline of large monochrome dark areas that are attractive to horseflies at the close range. The team theorizes that the thin back strips serve to minimize the size of local features on a zebra that are appealing to the biting flies. Professor Carroll explained, we knew that Horseflies are averse to landing on stripped objects. A number of studies have now shown this, but it is not clear which aspects of strips they find aversive. Is it the thinness of strips? The contrast of black and white? The polarized signal that can be given off objects? These all are the questions. So we set out to explore these issues using different Pattern cloths grabbed over horse and filled incoming horse flies. The team found that tabernet horse flies are attracted to large dark objects in their environment, but less to dark broken patterns. All grey coats were associated with by far the most landings, followed by coats with large black triangles placed in the different positions, then small checkboards patterns in no particular order. In another experiment, they found contrasting strips attracted few flies, whereas more homogeneous strips were more attractive. This suggests that any hooved animal that reduced its overall dark outline against the sky will benefit in terms of reduced ectoparasites attack. Found little evidence for other issues that they tested, namely polarization or optical illusions, confusing accurate landings such as the so-called wagon wheel effect or barber pole effect. The team wants to determine why natural selection has driven stripping in equids, the horse family, but not other hoofed animals. As I said, we know that zebra fur is short, enabling horsefly mouthparts to reach the skin and blood capillaries below, which may make them particularly susceptible to fly annoyance. But more important, perhaps, is that the disease that they carry are fatal to the horse family, but less to ungulates. This needs investigation.